Boxing fans, Tierra Farms presents the Battle of the Undefeated, four rounds in the junior welterweight division. Our judges, Terry Beecher, Wynn Kitts, Matt Ruggiero, our referee, Eddie Claudio. Introducing the first of our two undefeated fighters. Fighting out of the blue corner, he comes to us tonight from Troy, New York. He weighed in at 142 pounds, silver trunks, two victories, no defeats, one win by knockout. Please welcome Sugar. Ray Velez. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. Also undefeated, he comes to us from Colony, New York. Representing Shots Boxing, he weighed in at 141 pounds, wears red trunks with black Trim. Professional record also. Two victories, no defeats, one win coming by knockout. Please welcome Javier Luis El Estrella Martinez. <laughs> Referee Eddie Claudio has our fighters' final instructions. All right, gentlemen, I gave you instructions. The bell line, right? Right. Your bell line is going to be for you to lose, okay? Give me a good, clean fight, protect yourself at all times. Touch him up, let's get to it. Four rounds. Junior Walter wins.
players have the guts and determination to get in the ring together this early in their careers. How about a round of applause for both of these young fighters? For the guts to get in there and the job they did tonight. Now after four action-packed rounds, we go to the Tierra Farm scorecard. And all three of our judges, Terry Beecher, Wynn Kins, and Matt Ruggiero, score the bout 39-36, all in favor of your winner by unanimous decision. From Colony, New York, and Schultz Boxing, Javier Luis El Estrella Martinez. Big round of applause also for Troy, Sugar, Ray Velez. No losers in this ring tonight. Two proud warriors. Great fight. Appreciate what we did, what we did, Ray and I. Thank you, Ray. All right, I think the fans obviously appreciate what you did. It was a great fight, undoubtedly fight of the night so far. Now, you had an unusual determination. He had some moments early. You came back extremely strong in the fourth and final round. What were you thinking? What was going through your mind heading into the final round? I knew that I had to win the round, I had to win the round good. Um, he was throwing really good shots and scored well, and we knew that we had to win this round and put punctuation on it, and we just threw a really good right hand that we had trained in camp. And uh, honestly, I thought of my fans, I thought of the people in my locker room, my mom, everybody cheering me on. I said, I can't let them down. I can't let them down, I did. All right, so you came out for the fourth round. Now, what inspires you when you get in a fight, in a fight like this, and come out and, and put a punctuation mark on your victory like that? Five weeks ago, the greatest man I've all, all ever known, my grandfather, Luis, he, uh, he passed away. And when this fight, when we, we decided to take the fight, we said, uh, Andy Schott always told me, he said, if you agree to do something, you do it, you see it through. And every day was hard work. I envisioned was winning this fight, and I envisioned asking the crowd one thing. My grandfather's name was Luis, everyone called him Lou. But I'd like to ask the fans, I'd like to ask every single one of you if you could do me a great honor. If you could chant my grandfather's name, his name is Lou. I'd just like to get a Lou chant going, Lou, 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 Lou. All right, it's a beautiful tribute to a beautiful fighter. And we thank your fans very much. We thank Javi Martinez for putting on a great fight tonight. And we look forward to seeing him in the future in more big fight here in Albany, New York. Thank you very much, Javi. Great night, great fight. We got our main event coming up next.